But here's where things get interesting, and that's that not all water filters rely on water pressure. Some countertop filters and water filter pitchers actually use the force of gravity to pull water through the filter. While these options are slower, they don't require a connection to the water line, making them a low pressure, easy to use solution. So if you're comparing these systems, think about how water pressure and your patience for slower flow rates fits into your household's needs. Something else you're gonna wanna check when choosing between reverse osmosis and water filtration is their installation and maintenance requirements. Generally, RO systems are more difficult to install than water filters. They come with a dedicated faucet and need to be connected to your drain line. And if it's a tank-based system, you'll also need space for a storage tank. Countertop reverse osmosis systems are the exception though. These are plug and play units that don't require complex or invasive installation, but they do need a bit more hands-on maintenance, specifically filling and emptying their water tanks. Speaking of maintenance, each filter stage in an RO system has its own replacement schedule, which can typically range from six months to two years. While this might sound like a hassle, I've found that the ongoing maintenance costs for reverse osmosis systems are actually quite affordable.